10 things that can make you great in life and the first one is hard work hard work you know the willingness to work the willingness to work harder than others so if others are working for two hours you work for four hours if others are working for five hours you work for 15 hours because if you want to be great then you must be ready to go the extra mile so if you want to be great in life you must learn to work hard and smart you know, when others are opening their shop 10 a.m you say okay i'm going to open my shop 7 a.m and you will use 7 a.m and 10 a.m to plan to strategize how you can take your business to the next level i'm telling you that's how you know those that will be great you know by their fruit you shall know them by it. by how hard they are ready to work that's how you will know somebody that will be great in life and anybody that is doing business and eight o'clock is still rolling on his bed you know already that the future of that person is determined it can never be great but those people that will be great in life, they are those that are ready to put in extra effort. They are ready to go the extra mile. In fact, in life, there is nothing like good luck. There is nothing like good luck. All those that that you can say, oh, this person is lucky. This person is lucky. If you look at them very well, that person is working hard. So only those that work hard, they are those that are visited by the goddess of good luck. So if you want to be visited with good luck every day of your life, then you must be ready to go to extra mile. You must be ready to work hard. In fact, whatever your head finds to do, you must do it with the whole of your mind. Because you must do it with all of your might. Do it, whether it belongs to you or it belongs to another person. Do it. Put in your mind. Put in your best so that you can get the best. You know, I was a time I was in a bank. And before this man, the queue will always be long. Go there on Monday, the queue will be long. Go there on Tuesday, the queue before him will be long. I know when it was my turn, I, I, I met myself, please, this is what I want to do. He said, wait, hold on, I'm coming. And he was focused on the system, like 15 minutes. I said, sir, I'm still waiting. He said, don't worry, don't worry. I wonder what he was doing on the system. I spent good 30 minutes, 45 minutes before him, before he now asked my time and I'll do it. Within five minutes, don't do what? I'm there to do. So there are some people like that. They, they do their work anyhow. They do it carelessly. They don't put their mind there. What kind of people can never be great? They can't be great. They can't be promoted. Why? Because they don't put their heart. They don't put their mind in what they are doing. So if you want to be great, you must be ready to go to extra mind. Whether the work belongs to you or not. In fact, the way you do another person's business, that's how you will do your own business when you have yours. So use another person's business to train yourself, to put your mind, to put your heart in everything that you are doing. So work hard intentionally. Work hard willingly so that you can be great. And number two, number two thing, you must learn to live a great life is your habit you must develop a positive habit and when i talk about habit your habit is your attitude your habit is your belief your habit is talking about your values your habit is talking about uh, your disposition to things and i'm telling you your greatness is inseparable from your habits because your habit determines the degree to which your glory will shine to which your glory will shine. You know, the level at which your star will shine is depending or is depending on your habit. You know, there's one glory of the sun and there's another glory of the moon and there's another glory of the stars. And you know, stars differ from one another in glory. Do you know why? The way they are aligned, the way they are positioned, the way they position themselves from the sun. That's what determines the strength at which they shine. So you too, if you want to shine bright, if you want to be great, you want to enjoy a great life, then you must learn to position yourself well. You must learn to develop a positive habit. To learn to develop positive habit. And like I said, your habit determines how. It's talking about how you see yourself. Like how do you see yourself? Is it, if you see yourself small in 
life, I'm telling you, no amount of prayers can help you. You will be small because that's how you see yourself. That's how you have been seeing yourself. If it's okay, I'm a person that has been crashed off by destiny. I'm telling you, that's what your life will be. That's what your future will be because you are the greatest prophet for your life. How do you see yourself? How do you see your habit? What do you see that you can do? Are you a person that you have you have been seeing your ability to be small? You have been seeing that your strength will achieve nothing. I'm telling you that's what I will happen unto you. But if you want to be great, you must develop positive habits. See yourself great. Believe in yourself. Believe that you can do it. Believe that you are going to make it. Believe that even if others are failing, you, you will make it because your own case is different. So develop positive habits. Develop positive habits. Skills, wonderful. Talent, great. Potentials, awesome. But that can only take you a little ahead. It cannot take you far. What I can take you far, what I can get you to the top and keep you there is your habit. So look at what you are doing. What are the, 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 the ideal habit, the ideal values you must hold in that your field and develop the right habit for it. You can't say you are a pastor. You are a pastor and you are sleeping with ladies around. You know you cannot go far. You know you cannot go far. You know, okay, you are you, 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 you are doing business and yet you spend everything that is coming in. You know your business will soon run down. So develop the right habit if you want to be great in that thing that you are doing. And your habits, they are formed by from, from what you hear consistently, what you see, what you think about, which will determine what you believe and which we also determine what you are saying out and you know what you say out to become what you do what you behave on a, on a daily basis to become your habit your character and which we determine your destiny so do you want your future to be great do you want your future to be wonderful or to have a bright future then learn to develop the right habit and number three education education your education is another thing you must commit yourself to to live a great life you want to live a great life then you must be educated you must be educated you must be educated you must be educated is a must no i'm not a school free person actually i went to school primary school secondary school university you understand so i'm not against schooling but that's not all there is to it. If you are not opportune to go to school, great, you can educate yourself. There's something called self-education. So you can educate yourself in your life of business, whatever you want to do. Just make sure you put your heart, you put the best into it. You can turn your house to your school. You can turn your house to your school, you can get books, read, educate yourself because education is necessary for you to live a great life. Because where there is uh, no knowledge, the people will perish. People perish because of lack of knowledge. And why? Where there is no vision, the people will fall. Where there is no vision, the people will perish. So what education will do is it will sharpen your vision to enable you to see brightly. It, it will sharpen your vision. So you must give everything you have to education. And there are so many people, they went to school, to the university, they graduated and they are looking for job here and there and life is pushing them to and fro. In fact, they are tired of life. Do you know why? They are not educated. They only went to school to get information, but information did not pass through them. They did not learn what they need to learn about life. No, school will not teach you about life. They will, school will not teach you about life. They will just teach you the why the hex is going to those people like in the United the why the hex, uh, integration, all of these, uh, mechanics, quantum physics, and all of that. But uh, you will not be taught about life. So that's what you are to learn yourself. So you get books that will teach you about life, teach you the principles of life. I'm telling you, if you can commit yourself to educating yourself, to educating your mind, to sharpening your vision, I'm telling you, nothing can stop your greatness. Nothing can stop your greatness. But nowadays, we see people, they always want to get rich quick. They want to get rich fast, fast food, fast days, fast. Nothing works that way. You can't get anything that will last long 
easily and quickly. In fact, when you get something easily or quickly, you must be careful. Because the way it comes, that's how it will go. So develop your mind. Develop your mind. Because those people that are not educated, you know what they will do? They will repeat the mistake of the past. You know, history has a way of repeating itself. History has a way of repeating itself. So if you are not educated, if you if you don't uh, educate yourself about history, about things that have happened in the past, I'm telling you, if you don't educate yourself, inform your mind about the the the, the pit that people are falling into in the past, I'm telling you, you will fall into the same pit in the future. So that's why you must educate yourself. Do you know that the the, the difference between Poverty and riches is just a thin line, and what differentiates them is information. Take for example, take for instance, had it been you had the information in 2019 that Gary Kasama will be what it is now, what would you have done? In fact, you will not plant any other crop except cassava. You make sure you plant it enough so that when people are demanding for it now, you know what? You will be in money. So what differentiates the poor from the rich is information. So you must educate your soul. See, if it takes you to say all that you have to be educated, do it. Why? When you are educated, when you are informed, the results will get you all of those things that you sow. So, be committed to education. Number four, the fourth thing you need to live a great life is experience. You need experience. Your greatness is tied to the level of your experience. Don't just learn about facts. Experience it. Don't just hear people say you can be great. Experience it. Don't just hear John D says you can do it. Come on, get out there and do it. Don't just say, oh, your future is bright. And you fold your hand. No. Get at it. Start working on it. So be experienced. So the fact that you have learned about yourself, about what you can do, People have been telling you God's thought, God's plans for you. They are wonderful. And you can do all things. You can do all things, but you fold your hand. You're not trying. So you need to go out there and try it out. You need experience. You need experience. You need experience. Go out there and try it out. Some people, they will not go out there. They will not try it out because they are afraid of failing. I'm telling you, failure has a way of increasing your level of experience that reminds me of thomas uh, edison while he was working on the light bulb he tried thousands tens of thousands of uh, experiments in the whole field and one of the attendants was asking him baba baba thomas enough is enough now you've tried ten thousand times that one is to tell you that this thing cannot work now baba go and see that then you forget this thing and said okay you don't know anything i have just learned I have just learned 10,000 ways that will not work. So your mistake has a way of increasing your level of experience. So go out there and make that mistake. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from the mistakes of others. Learn from the mistakes of your father. Learn from the mistakes of your mother, your brothers, your sister. And don't forget to learn from their successes too. Because that will increase your level of experience. So that those four things that I can share with you today, if you will commit yourself to them, you work hard, you develop a positive habit, you are committed to education, and you are committed in increasing your level of experience. I'm telling you, nothing, nothing can stop your greatness.